Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel Applied Forensic Research Sciences. We are back with another instrumentation video. Today we are going to discuss Atomic Absorption Spectroscopy, AS. This video will be presented by Gauri Mask, a volunteer of Applied Forensic Research Sciences. So, let's start today's video. Content what is Atomic Absorption Spectroscopy? Principle Working Instrumentation Application What is Atomic Absorption Spectroscopy? Atomic Absorption Spectroscopy, AS, is a spectroscopic analysis technique that determines the concentration of a particular element in the sample. It detects elements in either liquid or solid samples through the application of characteristic wavelengths of electromagnetic radiation from a light source. Atomic absorption spectroscopy and atomic emission spectroscopy is a spectroanalytical procedure for the quantitative determination of chemical elements using the absorption of optical radiation by free atoms in the gaseous state. Principle the technique uses basically the principle that free atoms, gas, generated in an atomizer can absorb radiation at specific frequency. Atomic absorption spectroscopy quantifies the absorption of ground state atoms in the gaseous state. Atomic absorption spectroscopy, or AS, is a technique for measuring the concentrations of metallic elements in different materials. As an analytical technique, it uses electromagnetic wavelengths coming from a light source. Working Applying a potential difference, 300-400 B, between the anode and the cathode leads to the ionization of some gas atoms. These gaseous ions bombard the cathode and elect metal atoms from the cathode in a process called sputtering. Some sputtered atoms are in excited states and emit radiation characteristics of the metal as they fall back to the ground state. Instrumentation Light source Hollow cathode lamps are the most common radiation source in AS. We need a continuous source of radiation in the AS instrument. The extreme narrowness of the absorption line in the sources causes problems. We used a hollow cathode glow discharge lamp to give shape emission lines for a specific element in atomic absorption spectroscopy instrumentation. It contains a tungsten anode and a hollow cylindrical cathode made of the element to be determined. Nebulizer the nebulizer sucks up a liquid sample at a controlled rate and creates a fine aerosol that mixes with fuel and oxidant for introduction into the flame. A nebulizer is a device that introduces a liquid sample into the AS. Nebulization takes place as a result of the disruption of the liquid by the expanding vapor that is formed upon evaporation of a part of the liquid in the tube. Atomizer Atomization is the separation of particles into individual molecules and breaking molecules into atoms. This is done by exposing the analyte to high temperatures in a flame or graphite furnace. There are two types of atomizer flame atomizer and graphite tube atomizer. Flame atomizer To create a flame, we need to mix an oxidant gas and a fuel gas. Graphite tube atomizer uses a graphite-coated furnace to vaporize the sample. In FAS, the atomizer is a flame furnace, and in GFAS, the atomizer is a graphite furnace. Monochromator This is a very important part of atomic absorption spectroscopy. It is used to separate out all the thousands of lines. The monochromator is included as an important device in the optical system of an atomic absorption spectrophotometer. The function of this device in atomic absorption is to separate the spectral line of interest from other spectral lines with different wavelengths emitted by the hollow cathode lamp. Detector The light selected by the monochromator is directed onto a detector that is typically a photomultiplier tube 
whose function is to convert the light signal into an electrical signal proportional to the light intensity. The most used detector in atomic absorption spectrometer is the photomultiplier tube, PMT. No other device offers the same sensitivity over the wavelength range required for atomic absorption analysis. Applications Agriculture Analyzing soil and plants for minerals which are necessary for growth. Chemical Analyzing raw chemicals as well as fine chemicals. Food industry Quality assurance and testing for contamination. Forensic Identification of subject Thank you for watching our video. Hope you learned something about atomic absorption spectroscopy from the video. To learn more topics on forensic science, go to our channel and watch our videos. If you have any doubt feel free to ask in the comments section. Do like, share and subscribe to our channel. See you guys in the next video.